Callum Hudson Odoi wants to leave Chelsea. Not much playing time for him right now. And Bayer Leverkusen seems to be the club mm. ahead of everybody else to sign him. There's a lot of clubs ready to, to welcome Hudson Odoi. Do you think it would be a good deal for both parties for him to go to Germany in the Bundesliga and Bayer Leverkusen? Yes. Uh, we've seen a lot of English players go True. to the Bundesliga, particularly wide players, and, and do a, a, a good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Hudson Odoi is a, a talented boy. He's got pace. He's got trickery. He can score a goal. Again... The managers at Chelsea, have they trusted him fully? No. What is his best position? Did they, they've tried to play him at a wing back. They've yeah. tried to play him as an out-and-out -out winger. They've tried to play him off the front. I'm surprised he hasn't had more chances. But when you play for a club like Chelsea or you know uh, Liverpool or Manchester City, every time you come into the team, you've got to play well. Otherwise, you yeah. get left back out again. And a player of his quality needs to play week in, week out. Hopefully, at Bayer Leverkusen, he does. And it's good for everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that he didn't stay in England. I think there were enough suitors mm. here to stay in the Premier League. Um, maybe just even to, to impress Tuchel mm. and to say, look, yeah. well, you, le you let me go, this is what I can do. A bit of a Jesse Lingard type mm. of yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. loan or transfer or whatever. But Bayer Leverkusen in this Champions League, it's a team that started... But the problem is Jesse Lingard went to West Ham and did really well. But when he went back to Manchester United, they still didn't, they still didn't play him. That's very true. Although it's not the same age yeah. and I guess not exactly the same profile. But... If, if he's by Leverkusen, good luck to Hudson Odoi. Nicola Pepe will join Nice on loan mm -hmm. from Arsenal. Like me and Pepe himself, do you feel a bit frustrated that it didn't really work out for him at the Emirates or you've got no sympathy? <laughs> no, no I, no, I feel frustrated for him. Uh, when he first joined and I looked at uh, the way he played in Liga, I thought he was going to be an excellent signing. Yeah. Everything you want from a, a wide player at the time. He could score goals, he could run beyond people with the ball. Uh, he looked energetic. It just hasn't worked out for him. He had a bad start and he never really recaptured that form we saw in Liga. So it's a shame for him. Yeah, it was a tricky time to arrive as yeah. well with, with everything the club was going through. I mean, the last time he was in Liga, he scored 22 goals and 11 mm. assists. Well, so let's hope he does that again. Yeah, he'll, get, he'll, get, he'll, he'll, he'll come back and he'll, he'll do well for Arsenal again. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that for sure. Now, West Ham are going all out to get Lucas Paqueta. Yeah. Uh, they've made a first offer to Leon for the Brazilian. What's going on there, Jules? Yeah, it's a big offer, Robo, around the 15 million pounds, mm. uh, 50 million euros, sorry, uh, for Paqueta, which... Did they see him play for AC Milan? They didn't. And Leon, to be fair, kind of resurrected his career. Mm. They bought him for 20, so he's already be... It would be a big profit mm. for him. Leon won more money, though. They, right. won, they won the 60 million euros, which is their record sell. Tanguy and Dombele mm -hmm. to Tottenham. Uh, I think this is what they want. I don't know if West Ham right now doesn't look like West Ham would increase massively their offer. Maybe they can add a few bonuses and things like that and maybe they can find an agreement in between. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that West Ham go for Paqueta. I think in terms of creativity, yeah, he's outstanding yeah, yeah. on his day. On his day, yeah. There's a problem with consistency at times and we saw that in the second half of last season mm -hmm. where after starting so well, it kind of sort of dipped a bit, his mm -hmm. form. But I think West Ham need creativity uh, mm. and, and he would be a really good signing for them. I just, I just think that they would have to... Is he a David Moyes player? Definitely not. But then, then that's what I said to you the other day. Yeah. Uh, for me, if Moyes starts signing those kind of guys, it, because he will mm. evolve. Mm. His style has to evolve now. Exactly. Absolutely. They can't just be a, a, a one-dimensional exactly. and say, we're going to play on the counter-attack. So got I'm to waiting go to take, see. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure he can do it, but I'm waiting to see because mm. you can't put Paqueta in that team and play no. like you did the last three seasons. This is not going to work out. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.